Hi, just a quick intro to the little house that I'm going to show you. You'll have seen from the thumbnail and there's also a video where I'm going to do a close-up of it and also one where we're going to look at some of the vintage furniture. I think I might have shown you some of that before but it's the bits and bobs I've been putting in this. As I mentioned later, this is our Christmas project. It's going to go downstairs which is unusual because all my houses are up here and uh, this, you see this is an upstairs room but I we're going to do it over Christmas. We want lights etc etc so it will look a really cute decor decoration so that is why it's going downstairs so I'm going to quickly lift it up so you can have a little look first isn't it cute this is my Tudor villa now I need to get the video done today because my husband says he's planning on painting the roof today uh, because it's it's in good condition but it is in tired condition and it looks like somebody else has tried to do that at some point and they've not done a great job. So we're going to redo the roof. Some of it I don't want to alter, obviously, because it's vintage. But some of it that I can paint up, I can make it look a little bit better. Now, this is a GB house and that is G-E-E-B-E-E. -E -E. Now, if you want to know more about these, I'm going to put a link into the most amazing page where we actually found them. I couldn't find this one originally. But then when we got my recent one, I, we were able to research a little bit more and we found that one. And then at the same time found this one. So that was brilliant. I'm going to pop a link in because it is, I can't do credit for all the stuff that's on there. You know, it, you need to read it. It's so informative. Catalogues, adverts, all sorts of things from the time. I mean, can you imagine being a child getting this for Christmas or seeing it in a shop window? It, it must have been absolutely magical it's also a company that wouldn't have been that far from me it would have been in Hull uh which is yeah not too far now how amazing I thought that was so amazing because we used to we used to go to the seaside not too far from there uh, and it makes me wonder whether perhaps I did ever see these obviously not late 50s I was born in the middle of the 60s but they would have they were still making things so I must have seen these at some point not that I can remember. I'm just having a look on my piece of paper. Now, the website I'm going to give you the link for is for Dolls House Past and Present. It is wonderful. It says so much information on there. I keep going back to it and I still find new information that I didn't see before. So definitely have a look at it. It's definitely worth that, especially if you got one of these and you weren't sure about it. I know it's made me want more of them. Where I would put them, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have like a little little city in here, little city, more village, little village, I think, a village. But I'm really running out of room, so I don't think that's going to happen. Just checking my paper again, just in case anything else I need to tell you. I don't think so. I think we can get straight into the rest of the video. We're going to do a little tour around. So it's not top down first, it's around. And then we're going to go top down to have a look at the furniture. So let me know if you've got one of these. Let me know if you would like one of these. Let me know if you've seen this website. Seriously, you've got to go on this website. It is so good. And I will see you in a second. So let's have a little look at the house that we're hoping to get finished for Christmas to sort of brighten it up. As you can see, it's actually in very, very good condition. I got this a few years ago for my birthday. Uh, my husband bought it me off eBay and it is, it's in very good condition, really. It does want just tidying up. I mean, if we look at the roof, to be honest, yeah, first glance, it's great when you get closer. You realise somebody's tried to paint it. It's not gone well, so you can see it's patchy, it's streaky. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to mask it, sand it down, mask it all off, and get it a good paint job on that roof to make it nice and shiny. I mean, it's really cute. I didn't know whether it was genuinely meant to look like this because I had commented, I thought, see this little door here where it says Tudor Villa? I didn't think that looked like a door. I thought somebody had put a window in, which they might have. I'm not sure. But the Tudor Villa bit is genuine. I thought somebody had like converted a little garage, which I've seen in some of these houses. But no, it is actually meant to be like that. Again, as far as I'm hoping this isn't too wobbly because I'm doing this freehand. As you can see, it's still got some of its original paint, which I'm going to have to be careful with because I don't really want to get rid of it. Some of it I might be able to redo. We have a little canopy which does pull out, which I will show you later. Uh, we've got our little windows. All the windows are there. They are metal. They're all going to be taken out. And I am going to actually re-enamel them. Hopefully, that is the theory. So that is the front of our little house. I'm going to pause because we're going to open it because I can't do that at the same time as holding the camera. So back in a second. Right, so I'm kneeling on the floor now to get a little bit closer. So I hope this is going to be okay. 
So as you can see, it certainly needs a clean. I've done absolutely nothing with it since it was bought. It's just been sat there looking pretty basically. But as you can see, I think maybe some of those wallpapers are original. Not 100% sure there. We can see there was lighting, not in great condition. I'm considering lighting it up with, have you seen the battery ones you can get? They're a bit expensive, but at least I don't have to wire because I'm not very good at sorting that out, I'm afraid. It is essentially only two rooms. You can see it goes all the way through. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, so yeah, it is only two rooms. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to divide it yet. But I do want to sort of, as I say, make it definitely Christmassy. So the downstairs has to have, I mean, it might have a little bit of a kitchen in it. Oh, you can see where the canopy is there. It pushes out so you can get sort of a, a well, yeah, canopy. That's the word for it. That is going to get a repaint, but I've got to get the right enamels on. I know it's going to be a bit of a pain to do. But generally, it is in super condition. I am so pleased with it. I've taken the furniture out because it did come with some, plus I threw a few bits and pieces in. So we're going to have a look at the bits of furniture as well, but I'll go top down for that. But basically, that is my little Tudor. Well, it's called Tudor Villa, Tudor Villa. Uh, and we'll see what we can do with it. So fingers crossed I get it finished for Christmas. That's the aim anyway. So I'll see you all in a second with the next bit. So let's have a look at a few of the bits. As I said, I've got a feeling some I might have shown you. I can't remember. But even so, we'll have another look. Now, this little bit of carpet came in the doll's house. Now, I don't know whether it's a carpet remnant or it's actually an official doll's house one. It's very thin. So that makes me think doll's house rather than somebody's carpet. I don't want carpet. I want to sort of have like a wooden or a tile floor. I want carpets, not carpets, rugs and things like that. So I will keep them, but... It's not going to be going in this one. Now, generally, as I said, some of this I might have shown you, some I haven't. So let's go for the newest item. And I think the newest item is one I'm very pleased with, which is these. Now, these are from the pound shop, uh, obviously a pound each. And they look so nice in front of the house. I have tried it. I've got a couple more as well for one of my other ones. And I just think they look really nice as little garden accessories. And at that price, I mean, you do have to be careful because some are chipped. Oh, my pussycat's joining me um but yeah i'm really pleased with those i think they're a lovely find and definitely well worth it so we'll pop them to one side uh the other thing that's a more of a modern thing is this little chap here now i started collecting oh we saw a little paw print there um i started collecting the is it hatchet disney house collection thing um i decided it was getting too expensive it was taking too long etc etc but this is one of the things i did keep from it not quite sure where Mickey Mouse fits into the theme, although Mickey Mouse themselves are quite old, are they not, Disney? Um, but yeah, so that's cute. I just kept it because of its proportions. So we'll pop that one to that side. Where shall we start? I do not know. Um, oh, that was a little Timu find. I think I showed you that one. Uh, we have a little terracotta pot. So again, I mean, that was... I don't think I paid a pound. I don't even know where I got it from. Um, but it is actually pot, I think. Is that pot? Is that plastic? I can't tell. I think it's pot. So I shouldn't have done that. I just tapped it on my teeth. Um, but yeah, get some little plants, etc., etc. But I sort of like the pound shop ones better now. So I'm not sure what to do. So I'll pop that there. I mean, some of these will go in other dolls' houses. Because as you saw, this little house only has two rooms. So I've got to try and work it out. I need a front room because I want to do a Christmas side. So that is probably going to be the most important. I think a bedroom's important. It might be sort of bedroom, bathroom with a tiny bathroom um i'll try and work out some sort of divide or something and then downstairs obviously main room is going to be the front room and i might try and do a tiny little kitchen in one side as well so anyway let's get on with this we've got a little dog basket a little bit big she perhaps they've got a big dog i don't know we'll put that there um now this one it's in a sorry state now it's easy to clean. It's easy to sort out. My mirror is cracked. Perhaps I can get a little bit of a replacement tile for that. This is all framed, but again, it's only stuck on. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to see if we can get the mirror off. Ooh, that might go wrong. I don't know. And then a bit of a paint job, new bit of fabric and a new frill. This is the original frill. Mm, it would be nice to keep it, would it not? Um, perhaps if I wash it, uh, I've got some sort of glow white stuff and let's see if it comes up nice and shiny if it does I will keep it otherwise it won't be going again whether it's going to go in this house it looks a little bit big actually for this scale 
but we'll see it's all going to be experimentation from now on now this is one of my favorite things look at this i say i want little rugs well she can she he whoever whoever's going to be doing the carpets we don't know who's going to be living in this house even yet um can actually clean their carpets with this this is a vintage piece you can see it's, it's, it's a bit bendy we might be able to warm that up and straighten it out but that's that's super cute now we've got one here bit of a sorry state again it's a little tv set i think it would be nice for this one and i'm pretty sure i mean i don't know whether someone stuck some sellotape to try and keep that on i think they have but the wooden bit is fine just a little sand maybe a little bit of varnish something like that and i'm sure we can make this and then pop a picture in there so that is definitely coming in this house i'll pop that one over there actually the little sofa set i think also is going to be in this it's not the most padded one it's not very comfortable because it's just solid blocks of wood you can see the nails where they put the fabric in fascinates me now because they would not get away with that nowadays would they it wouldn't pass sort of safety tests i sort of like the color i don't know again a good cleanup perhaps might help me make my mind up i've got some fabric cleaner um upholstery type stuff so i'll try it but i'm tempted to recover it because as you can see it's not actually that difficult to recover them and they're only little blocks but i think that size oh nearly not the table did not the table then um i think that size would be nice for this house so i'll put that there we have some little tables. I don't know why I have three little tables. <laughs> I have three little tables. So all my doll's houses could have a little table. Just basic little wood ones. Again, a little varnish. Well, a little clean, a little sand perhaps, then a little varnish. And they're good to go. That's great. Now, I got these. I'm pretty sure I have shown you these before. These are like solid pieces of furniture. The drawers don't open or every, anything. It's sort of like carved out. And then little these little tack nail type things put in to look like handles. I think they do look quite nice. Not quite sure where they'd fit. Um, I think that one might be more useful than that one. Again, this is all I don't know. Because I actually prefer the older stuff. To these so they, they all get saved and eventually i'll use them for something the bed we have a proper little old bed in fact if i move these all to one side i think here is where it sits i think this is my bedroom to be honest um again we do need a mirror i'm gonna have to work something out for that but these are super cute i love them they need a little bit of a clean up you can see the sort of wood it was made out of uh, some of the wood is very rough i must admit uh, i was gonna say is that cardboard i'm not quite sure what it is it feels a bit like cardboard but i don't know i think the oh we've got a little mirror in there i wonder if that mirror would fit mm no to be too big for that and again i'd probably break it taking it off anyway but i think that sort of fits the theme a little bit better that little collection size again not sure that looks a little bit big but the problem is it's the vintage sizes are so odd i mean and now it's everything's 112 for doll's houses it's easy done but some of the doll's houses we're looking at 116th and some are apparently are 118 so it can be that tiny couple of millimetres which throws it out i'm sure children of the day didn't care and there were lots of handmade things and lots of wrong size things in them and i think that's what i've got to start thinking about now stop worrying about scale if i like it put it in there so they need a clean up there's so much to clean up it is unreal little fireplace love this i feel this does fit um i think it'll look really cute cleaned up with a little christmas wreath around it a little garland decorations and things i feel that fits the era so that i think is a definite waste we've got a little bit of cardboard there i think somebody might have stuck that on after the fact because uh, it was missing its back in i mean you can get little light up fires i don't know if i can get one that small i could perhaps replace it i don't know again this is all possibilities rather than actually happening so i just thought i'd show you them another set of little chairs this little cupboard's quite sweet i don't like the mahogany color for this i think we need a different color but it's got possibilities and then we've got some chairs this poor little chair's got no leg though so it's, it's, it's standing up quite well so we have these little sets of chairs they're all again done in this sort of um oh i don't know is it a mahogany color i'm really rubbish with colors like that um that one like i say has got a leg missing so i'm not quite sure what to do with that but you know these have got possibilities maybe a corner chair in their sort of bedroom or 
couple of if i do a small kitchen little table a couple of chairs possibility so we're nearly at the end of all those bits and pieces we have a tiny kettle i love that kettle so i've got to have a little kitchen haven't i because i need that that little kettle we've got some little tiny cups which are super sweet i think too big for these guys it'd be a big mug i don't know perhaps they're, they're having a, a big hot chocolate or something we have a little sort of picture now that is obviously london on there and that was quite cute. You can see somebody stuck it on with blue tack at some point. It is vintage. You can see the plastic side of it. And there's a, a random spoon <laughs> for some reason. So, hmm, I don't know out of that lot what is and what isn't. This is going to be a serious experiment. What I'm going to try and do is when we get to a certain point of decorating it, I will show you again. And then I thought oh, I might just do a final one nearer Christmas. So hopefully we'll have got it done. No promises. I can't promise you've got a lot going off before Christmas. Um, but hopefully I will get it done. And even if it's just the front with some lights on and things like that, I'll be able to show you. I'm not sure how much of the interior is going to be getting done. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. If you know any more about these, because uh, I don't know a lot. I just see something and if I like it, I buy it. I don't sort of think, oh, is it this or is it that? It's just something that takes my fancy so please pop a little comment in below please like subscribe and share um i'm now going to have some breakfast because i'm hungry <laughs> and i will see you all very soon with another video bye bye for now